Welcome to the Quivering. A door locked, unfortunately. to my attic laboratory. The dining room. A long dining table. A zombie butler. A covered silver tray. My apologies, sir, but sir must be properly dressed. This is strictly a black tie function. Why do I have to wear a black tie to eat? It's a passport to decent society, sir. I mean, is my head going to explode if I don't wear a black tie? Hope springs eternal, sir. So what if I walked round in just a tie and showed my butt to your guests? Then you would be guilty of a very old sight gag, sir. Yeah, but what would you do? I'd have an early night, sir. I'm confident, sir's butt would deter the appetite of any guest and we could all go home. I hope you know there are even penguins who are thinking of ditching that image. Find a tie, or kindly leave. I ain't wearing no tie. I ain't forsaking my individuality and hiding a living, breathing personality behind the mask of polite society. Sir got that off the back of a matchbox, didn't sir? No. If you must know, it was a t-shirt. Mm. I don't like you, man. You're impolite, 
obnoxious and your whole world revolves around dressing properly. How will I be able to live with myself knowing I am not in favour with some oily oink? Get bent. Your chamber. When the hell was this installed in my house? A rather perverted looking demon. A rack. Hot coals. <coughs> Various instruments of torture. Hot coals? Howdy. You're a very nice little boy. What's your name? Under the circumstances, I'll keep my conversation with you to a minimum. What? No little puppies or bag of sweeties references? No, on both counts. The butler wants me to find a black tie. This I can offer is, is a black eye. Actually, actually that's not true. <sighs> I, I could maim and, and kill you in a, in, a, in a hundred different ways, but that may be drifting off of the point. Do you get some perverted kick out of torturing people? And then some. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the prisoner would rather you drop to that line of questioning. What do you most enjoy about your job? The blood, the spilling of guts, the screams. I love it all. The pain and suffering. But I, I don't just do it to myself. The prisoners get their share of it too. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. A real medieval torture chamber but full of modern appliances. I have a blender, a microwave, and even a toaster somewhere in here. My clients pay for these things, you know. You must have some hideous contraptions in here. Everything from an electric spiky groin muzzle with rotary gonad clippers right through to these little prongy, uh... <clears throat> I don't think you should hear the rest of this. Just talk amongst yourselves for a while and some rather nasty tasting yogurt. I think your prison has had enough. Okay, there you go, Kevin. Wait a minute. Aren't you the guy from the gibbet at the crossroads? Do a lot of people pay you for this sort of thing? Yeah, but sometimes I do it for free. Gah, call it a bit of a, of a hobby thing. Must I pay to get my imp here stretched? No, sometimes I do it for free. Let me give your friend here a, a demonstration. <laughs> you, you're going limp, Mr. Imp. <laughs> I guess we can stop it there, huh? A tall imp? A stretched imp? Oh! individual a 
okay. Uh, let's take stock of the situation. Uh, confused. Lost my faculties. Oh, not good. Um, almost naked. Could be worse. The butler wants me to find a black tie. As you can see, I'm not wearing one. I just wondered if you'd seen one around. A butler or a tie? Oh, Do you think I'd be dressed like this if there were clothes around here? A large window. A black tie. Storage space. a jack-o'-lantern with a brain in a bag. Either the local fast food restaurant is in big trouble or the recently deceased chefy has been preparing this guy's lunchbox. Let's hope it's the latter. I don't want to be here when the barbecue ribs come on the market. the brain I'm looking for. I'm so glad. That's excellent news for you. Get me ahead and you can have it. The butler wants me to find a black tie. What could I do? Pumpkins are never invited to those sort of dinners. such attire was unthinkable. I can only assume that you have sold out. By the way, that tie does not suit you, Bon Appetit. It's a brain. Actually, sir, it's blancmange. A brain. this world of evil and change me back to normal and my god I hate doing that is to get the machine to reopen the dimension gate and reverse the flow of negative energy thus sucking back the foul creatures and wiping out their evil deeds how do I do that I don't know I was hoping you'd have some idea what do you mean you don't know but I'm a bird what the hell did you expect but you're a scientist. I know, I know. But my brain's been taken over by this, this, this birdie stuff. Quantum physics. Ah, worms. That's what I think about. Got a new wormy theory. But this isn't the time or the place. So you can't operate the machine? Well, I, I can't remember. If only my mentor, Dr. Formaldus for Penstick, were still alive. He built the machine. He never ate worms. He's your man. He's your man. It's a brain. It says, the king on the label. It's the warp portal. It's the goo cube machine that opened that portal. It's my monster, a previous experiment.
It's the brain storage compartment of my monster machine. It's my monster, a previous experiment. It's the lever to operate the brain machine. door locked, unfortunately. A grow bag, a pack of seeds, a tall imp, a small pumpkin bud, a small pumpkin, a pumpkin, a pumpkin. your brain, best buddy. Here, how about that? My arms work. Hello, arms. Hello, feet. How's it going the rest of me? Gosh, this is a happy time. the lever to operate the brain machine. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's the entrance to the theme park. A huge fortress. It's a huge looking theme park. It's a huge looking theme park. Searching for Big D, dude. What's the news? The big man himself is in this very fun fair. How do I get back to planet Earth? Huh? Why would you want to go there when Dimension X is filled with blood, carnage, and chaos? That's a very convincing argument, but I gotta get back to the attic. Uh-huh. What scary rides you got going here? You name it, we've got it! Wall of Death, Evil Mirror Maze, a rocket ride that'll spill your intestines from here to the outer dimension. Uh, and a kid's slide. What's so scary about a kid's slide? It plunges you below into the fires of hell. Well, your repeat business must be very slick. Well, not really the fires of hell. That's a sales gimmick. We can't afford the license. What about the uh, roller coaster? Oh, you can die all sorts of ways there. Uh, Hypermotion sickness, treble vertigo, anti-gravity weightless trauma have all been very popular. What do you look like under that mask, anyway? There were thousands of applicants, but for uh, some reason, I got the job. Your rides don't look that gut-wrenching to me. I'm sure we'll find some way of inflicting gross discomfort, sir. After all, we want you to tell all your friends what a great day you've had. I suppose there's a ghost train with real ghosts. Many of whom are ex-customers haunting the scene of their own horrific demise. And I bet I can guess who lives in that castle. Yep, and you can die horribly there too. In fact, step beyond the visitor's rope and we'll see to it personally. <laughs> It's a hell to skelter.
It's a nice demon balloon clown. Hi, fella. <laughs> there you go, Sonny. Have a balloon on me. Thanks, dude. You got one of those funny cars that falls apart when you drive it? Only in work. Outside of the park, I drive a Mustang. I know Big D's around here someplace. Bound to be. He's a very big guy. How do I get back to planet Earth? You go over the rainbow, over the stream, follow the fellow who follows a dream. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick. Sorry, I thought you were after someplace else for a second. So, what does it take to get another balloon around here? I work and I work for you goddamn kids. Please, Mr. Clown, can I have 20 billion squillion balloons? Well, sure you can, kid. It's a nice demon balloon clown. <laughs> Hi, fella. There you go, Sonny. Have a balloon on me. Thanks, dude. It's a fun house. Thank you very much. It's a fun house. Thank you very much. The entrance to a fun house. There's a slippery slide. Pit full of small balls. There's a scramble net. Huh? Oh. Crazy mirrors. Crazy mirrors. Crazy mirrors. Reflection of you. Reflection of you on a spanner. How, how odd. of you holding a spanner, how, how odd. Reflection of you holding a spanner, how, how odd.
There's a slippery slide. There's a scramble net. What can I do for you, you demon Brady Bunch? I, I just want you, you to take out Pudo. Huh? Boy, you sure do come prepared, don't you? Everybody say sleaze. <laughs> now, this your uh, first time at the fun fear of hell? Yeah. We went to dysentery land last year. But the perpetual anguish wasn't very bowel crunching, so... Uh... That's why we're here. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, uh, been on any of the rides here? Yeah, I went on the rocket ride. Real neat. You can puke your innards all over the whole park from the top. There seems to be a lot of demons here. Well, well I, I, I'm no expert, but I'd say rides like the, the Triple Damnation Thunderbucket are targeted at the demon end of the market. I know Big D's around here someplace. Bub's in town? Oh, Albert, that's great. We gotta get our photo taken with him. How do I get back to planet Earth? I, I don't know. We're from Wyoming. You want me to take your photo? Uh-huh. <laughs> Everybody say sleaze. Big D's around here someplace. He's inside. He had a ticket. How do I get back to planet Earth? 
You probably need a ticket for that as well. Have you survived the roller coaster? I'll pass on that question since it has no outlet for my disturbing ticket fixation. Where do I get a ticket for this place? There are signs all over the park. How come you can't buy tickets for this place? Because that's the way it is. You have to win them at the duck shoot. It's all part of life's rich pastry. Well, it seems dumb you can only get in if you're adept at shooting ducks. Plus, you're not maximizing sales potential by turning away paying customers. The financial plan of this enterprise is deficient. Look, it's a clumsy plot device, okay? God knows there have been quite a few in this game. Uh, we'd better get on. Next question. Is Big D a kind and considerate employer? You're fired. Ah, some days are better than others. I have to get in. I've got to see Big D. Big D? Why? That's impossible. I've worked here 20 years. I've never even seen him myself. But I've come all this way. Sorry, rules is rules. But she's Dorothy. Uh... Wrong adventure, bud. I apologize. Nah, it was worth a try. If you don't let me in, I'm going to stick a funny photo cutter on your door and send pictures of you in a girl's bikini to all your closest friends. My closest friends take similar pictures every Wednesday afternoon at the poolside. to the Helder Skelter. Big D's around here someplace. Big D, stick him up. Pretty impressive, kid. I think you should join our army. Ignore him. Scared the hell out of me. Uh-huh. How do I get back to planet Earth? Er, uh, down the hell or skelter, I think. Have you survived the roller coaster? No. Height restrictions apply. Where's your mum and dad, demon child? I shot him. Dead, dead, dead. With a pop gun? Yeah, right. Have you been on any other rides in the park? I went on the ghost train. And shot all the ghosts? Ghosts are dead already. What do you think? Made of corks? Where'd you get the gun? I found it. Where? I don't know. It's just lying around. Lying around? So you decided to take it? No! I'm not a thief! Oh, don't tell the cops, or my parents, or, or anybody. Here, here, take it, please. a balloon. There's a Ponce and Judy show. Wow! A Plan 9 rocket ride.
Judy's the same as ours. to shoot the duck. You're not having it. Well, I was never into that, I, I swear. Win a ticket to the fortress on the duck shoot. The rootinest, tootinest, fun game of them all. Honest. say please uh. a blind imp Oh, 
signal helmet. The crane game. The crane game. Thank you very much. Little janitor, jeez, what a sight. Yeah, a bunch of keys. game token. game token.
in game token. The crane game token. game token. The crane game token. game token. Crane game token.
Ukraine gained token. Ukraine gained token. The crane gained token. Ukraine gain token. Got it that time, good buddy. You already got it that time, good buddy. <laughs> we won a prize, boy. The crane game. The crane game.
use for something. Spanner rim. Thank you very much. It's a rocket with a flat punch and Judy show stall beneath. That <laughs> word it worked. It's a ghost frame. It's a ghost frame. It's a ghost frame. <laughs> I'm 
little sack. Thank you very much. I think I may have wet myself. Thank you very much. swing door. Nosferatu. That's a vampire to use.
Nosferatu. That's a vampire to use. Useful as a balloon, uh, to floating carpenter imp. A floating carpenter imp. A floating carpenter imp.
got one of those funny cars that pulls a... <laughs> there you go, Sonny. Have a balloon on me. Thanks, dude. bunch of keys.
detonation with infrared sights, auto targeting, thermal detection, plane throw, and grenade launcher attachment. Extra kill ratio guaranteed. destroyed duck shoot well done kid you gave him what for Just ate two peas in a pod. Granny, we both like to kill and maim a small bit, but you, you're a sick, twisted, perverted son of a bitch trying to take over somebody else's world. That you wish you thought of it first. Maybe, but, but don't confuse the issue. This is it, Big D. It's either you or me. Same stunt on me as you did in that kid. Cause I'm the king. I kicked your butt up in the attic and I'll do it again now.
did it for you, boy. I beat that evil critter. I have defeated him and taken his power.